Good morning. Theo and I are recording this on Tuesday morning. Um, like this Tuesday morning, we're going to put this up in about an hour. Um, the news has been pretty intense with our American brothers and sisters um, going through some pretty stressful times. So I'm just going to invite you to take a few moments of silence with me and then we're going to start our, our uh, morning prayer. I invite you to take some deep breaths, just a few deep breaths before you start. <coughs> the Lord is good, a strong refuge when trouble comes. God is close to those who trust in him. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. The night is past and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and one mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Protect me, O God, for I take refuge in you. I have said to the Lord, you are my Lord, my good above all other. All my delight is upon the godly that are in the land, upon those who are noble among the people. But those who run after other gods shall have their troubles multiplied. Their libations of blood I will not offer, nor take the names of the gods upon my lips. O Lord, you are my portion and my cup. It is you who uphold my lot. My boundaries enclose a pleasant land. Indeed, I have a goodly heritage. I will bless the Lord who gives me counsel. My heart teaches me night after night. I have set the Lord always before me. Because he is at my right hand, I shall not fall. My heart, therefore, is glad and my spirit rejoices. My body also shall rest in hope. For you will not abandon me to the grave, nor let your holy ones see the pit. You will show me the presence of life. In your presence there is fullness of joy, and in your right hand are pleasures forevermore. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. And this is a reading from the fourth chapter of Paul's letter to the Philippians. Finally, beloved, whatever is true, whatever is honorable, whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is pleasing, whatever is commendable, if there's any excellence and if there is anything worthy of praise, think about these things. Keep on doing the things that you have learned and received and heard and seen in me the God of peace will be with you. Hear what the Spirit is saying to the church. Thanks be to God. Let us pray. Almighty and everlasting God, we thank you that you have brought us safely to the beginning of this day. Keep us from falling into sin or running into danger. Order us in all our doings and guide us to do always what is righteous in your sight. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Keep us, good Lord, under the shadow of your mercy, and in this time of uncertainty and distress, sustain and support the anxious and fearful, and lift up all who are brought low, that we may rejoice in the comfort of knowing that nothing can separate us from your love, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Now I invite you to say with me the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses who forg who, uh, in, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the fellowship and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all 
evermore. Amen.